G'day guys, welcome to GJ Bricks, I'm Greg. Now today I'm gonna look at the new Lego Creator Expert modular that got announced today, set number 10270, the bookshop. We've been speculating about what this is gonna be for a while. Some of us were hoping for post office, maybe next time. But some people did say it was going to be a bookshop. Some people said it was going to be a museum. So now we know it's the bookshop. So let's have a look at this. This set comes in at 2,504 pieces. And I believe it's coming out in mid-January slash uh, late January. So early February for um, purchasing. So I'm guessing that will be a VIP release and then a, a normal release. And this one retails for $179.99 US dollars which is less than last year's one. So here in Australia, I'm gonna guess it's gonna come in around the same price as things like the diner and the Parisian restaurant at $250. Now, my thoughts on this are, I actually really like the look of it. I think the design of it is really good. I think maybe they've been a little bit safe in a few places. You can see this scene that's on the front of the box here. That all the figures are out the front there. They've got birds in the tree. We've got a birch tree there. Now here's a question for everybody. What is it with birch trees at the moment? Is it year of the birch tree or something like that? I've just built an Elsa set for my, or a Frozen 2 set with my girls and that featured birch trees as well. So maybe it's a thing, who knows? If you do know, let me know in the comments. Now I can't help but say the guy on the ladder there does look like he's doing something a little bit precarious. That could be a bit of a problem for him. So let's keep an eye on that one and see if he actually manages to stay on that ladder. Speaking of which, I do like how that ladder's been built. Good idea there, Lego. The actual front of the buildings, I think, look really good. I love the roof line. I think that looks exceptionally good, and I'll talk about that one a bit more in a moment. I think the front of the bookshop looks good. The front of the house looks good. But that middle floor and the columns on the bookshop, I don't like very much. I think they look really quite plain. I just feel like they could have been a bit more, but they're using those new slope pieces, which look really, really good. So you get a lot of those in this, which is nice to see. Around the back of the set, there's not a lot to see. It's fairly plain. There's two balconies on it and a vegetable garden behind the house. But one thing I'd like about how this has been designed is the fact that Lego's made it that you can split the two houses into two. So they're actually on 16 by 32 base plates, which means you get effectively two modulars here rather than one big one if you want to. That's a good idea by Lego because you can then go and put it in different parts of your building. And I know a lot of people actually built assembly square in this way by actually splitting the design and building the right hand or the left hand side as you're looking at the front of it on one of these smaller plates so that you could actually separate the whole thing out, which was a good idea. I wish I'd read that before I built it. Anyway, let's have a quick look around the shop. So we've got the ground floor of the bookshop and the basement level slash ground floor of the actual house which has a bit of a storage area in it and I like the fact Lego's included this. I think if you made it a little bit bigger you could potentially turn that into something like a man cave where you could have your Lego room or something like that. Let's go with Lego room, that would be pretty awesome. The bookshop itself has a mid mezzanine floor and I will say I think the interior of the bookshop is a little bit sparse if I'm perfectly honest. I had this vision of piles of books everywhere and kind of like a rabbit warren of a bookshop would have been so cool. So I think that's how it's going to be mocked when I actually get this set. I will build it and then modify it to be something a bit more like that to give that bit more detail. It's interesting how much of the interior isn't actually tiled anymore as well. And they've really kind of stepped away from tiling the interior, but they have included a few bits of carpet in there. There's an entrance mat into the, the house, for example. The middle floor of the of the bookshop does have a carpet on the floor, which is good to see. I like the interior of the house as well. They've got like a dining table and then a sofa in the window where you can sit and look out and see what's going on. They don't seem to have a TV. And one thing I will say is there's no toilets in either of these buildings, which could be a problem. Don't know why they haven't included a toilet, but most modulars do seem to include one. So it's uh, strange. I don't know, maybe these guys just go and fertilize the garden or something like that. Who knows? But one thing in the house I, liked is I I saw was the coat rack on the side as you come in where you can see these hats up on the hanging up there. I thought that's a really nice idea. I like that bit of detail. There's plants, there's newspapers. The interior of the bookshop I think is a bit boring. As I said, I think it could do with a lot more work. The top floor in both buildings is is similarly okay. You know, it's it's safe. The they've both got a bed in there. 
I like the furniture on the top of the house. The teal, the, it's interesting the amount of teal that's been used in this set. So the house is entirely teal and the bed is teal in the bookshop. So obviously someone decided that Lego needs to get more teal out into the market. Who knows why? As JC over at Small Brick City pointed out, maybe someone just bought too much of that dye and they decided they had to use it. But the roof line on both of them on that top floor is excellent. I love the use of those curved pieces on the house. They look really, really quite spectacular and give so much character to that roof. I think that is great. The one over the bookshop as well, good use of all the curves in there. I think that's nice. I do like, I do think it looks good. In the bookshop bedroom, you get that kind of cool teal chameleon as well. Same print as is in the, one of the other sets. And you also get a head in a box there, which is interesting. I'm not sure why they included that one. I, it's a, yeah, whatever floats your boat there, I guess. Perhaps they go, you know, thought they needed to make it a bit more edgy. Perhaps this is something to do with copper or something like that. By putting heads in boxes, they can actually start to say, definitely not aimed at kids. Good idea, Lego. I like your thinking there. Well done. Moving through the house, there's a few bits of detail, like the middle floor. The clock looks excellent in the bookshop. I think that's a great grandfather clock. The bookshop keeper there is having a, a, a snooze. I'm not surprised reading that book. It is quite heavy going. And again, we've got a new lamp design there, which looks pretty cool. Here's a bit more of the inside of the bookshop. And I, I really do think this is a missed opportunity. I, I'm going to say it again. I think there could be so much more going on in this. I like the books under the stairs. I, I think bits of it are good. I like the books outside the house. But this interior of this bookshop could have been so much more interesting with piles of books. You all know the kind of bookshops I mean. Those ones that have heaps of character, I think, would have worked so well in this scenario. So I think there's an opportunity there to fix that. I like this scene here. I'm going to just finish up on this. I like the, the exterior here. I think it looks really good. This happy guy, the Moby brick on display in the window, I think looks great. I think this is a good street scene. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing this set and getting my hands on it and building it out. I think this is going to be great. Let me know what you think about this set in the comments. Do you think this is a good one? Do you think this one kind of makes up for the last one that I know was a bit contentious, which I don't actually have that set yet. I will get it one day when it goes on super mega sale, but I'm not any rush to buy it yet. I'll get the this one, then probably the diner, and then the, the garage. I think it's got potential. I think it's going to be good. I think this is going to look great in everybody's city, and I think there's some good scope for improvement here as well. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe. I do post regularly. And don't forget to give this video a like to let YouTube know that you've enjoyed it. And make sure you share it around a bit so other people see this video as well. And be sure to check out my other channels on social media. I do post other content to those channels. My main one being gjbricks.com and my Facebook GJ Bricks channel. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Now, here's a couple more videos I think you will enjoy.